Okay. So I think we got cut off. Where we get cut off here? We got cut off. We were clarifying this five of cups here. Hmm. Yeah, it's hopes of fear, so we don't really need to worry about that. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, we're clarifying this, uh, this uh, reversed uh, Queen of Wands, which is uh, somebody who uh, is, um, we found out cl worth, worth clarifying here, that uh, it's somebody who could be investigating you, and somebody who's blocking you from from uh, meditating, whatever that is, you meditating is different for everybody, right? So, like meditating for you could be like sitting out on your deck having a smoke and a cigar, or it could be like uh, I don't know, running like five miles or some shit like that, right? To so somebody else, so. But uh, yeah, somebody who's trying to block whatever your way of meditating is, and also is investigating you in some kind of way, or trying to find some dirt on you. It doesn't have to be a cop. It could be just somebody who wants to get some dirt on you and blackmail you or some shit like that. Right? Uh, and the way the moon asked what was being hidden in the underlying energy with the moon here, and it said that it could be. Somebody's ancestors are really, really strong in this week, so either yours are, or this Queen of Wands is, so, yeah, I don't know if, if you even know, we know about your ancestors, but, uh, yeah, so, that's gonna be the, that's underlying energy the whole week, so whoever that is, whether it's you, or this, I don't know, I don't, this Queen of Wands reversed, I'm thinking, unless she has a lot of really, really evil ancestors, is they're not gonna help her, right? Because they're not in the 5D anyway, so because you don't go to the 5D for for being a reverse queen of uh, you know what I mean, uh, wands. So uh, I, I'm thinking that it's your ancestors are going to save your ass out of this one. So you might not even see what's happening, but you might think that this person's a really malicious, like uh, deceptive person too. So you might not even know this person's like this. She may look like. Uh, the nun at the church or some shit like that, but it could be like Bloody Mary behind the scenes, you know what I mean? So, uh, somebody who's definitely got some dark secrets, uh, you got, but, uh, yeah, this is your ancestors, your ancestors are, you got really powerful ancestors, so they're gonna smell this, they're gonna see, they probably already know what this, this uh, Queen of Bronze uh, Reverse is trying to do, right? So, you might not even notice anything happen, she just might... I don't know, something might just happen to her. <laughs> if she's really trying to harm you, like the way it says, it, she could be having, trying to have you thrown in. We'll clarify again with this other, we'll use a different deck. Here. We'll use uh, the Pagan deck here. Let's see what spits out about this. Uh, let's just use the right of actually. Uh, we'll go with the right of uh, Yeah, I got cut off in the last read there, so I had to cut it into two parts there, Gemini, so. I realized I didn't have much, uh, memory left on my phone. Holy Spirit, would you make us into this just like a Gemini, please? Which is, you need to be aware of. Uh, oh, she or he. clarify this uh, your ancestors here or what's this queen of wands trying to do like investigating you? this queen of reverse queen of wands she could be a fire sign too but she could also be a very charismatic person that uses it like very good at manipulating people like a lot of people like weak minded people probably follow her like flying monkeys type shit you know what I mean so I, I, I just stay out of her way unless you don't have unless you can't really. uh, oh. Okay, so Ten of Pentacles. This is over Ten of Pentacles. This is generational wealth. So maybe she's trying to steal some, some generational wealth from you somehow. Get some dirt on you and maybe blackmail you. You could be very wealthy. Or 
somehow there's like generational wealth. There's just enough wealth, not just for you, but for like uh, generations that come, right? So you won't, you'll know what that is. They're Gemini. So. Mm. So you clarify here. Six, six, six could be uh, significant to you too. Pisces, or Pisces, Gemini. I don't know, two sixes beside each other, that could mean something new. The only thing I can think of is like Mario the new, sir. And unless you're a hockey fan. <laughs> uh, but this can also be, this is giving and receiving and victory. So you're going to gain victory in this. I'm thinking, you, you probably don't even know what's going on, but... Either angels or your ancestors in the 5D, or it looks like they're taking care of this shit for you. So, you might, like, they're like ninjas. You don't even see shit, what they do. So, they might just, uh, something will happen that's going to stop this. Because, yeah, it doesn't look like she, what she, whatever she's doing is not. We'll clarify again. Is she trying to steal this uh, Ten of Pentacles from uh, Gemini? Oh, yeah, she wants you in the. That's a pissed her off somehow, because she wants you in a five of pentacles, which is like pretty much homeless on the streets, and it could be over an emperor. Because an emperor is a very powerful person, I don't know, maybe you said something to an emperor that she was like, uh, had the hots for or something, or, or she could even could be an emperor herself, because uh, uh, she'd be one really nasty person though, then, because this emperor is showing up, uh, Upright, yeah, she's he's showing up upright, so it's something over this emperor. Like, so maybe she you said something to this emperor and uh, could have maybe fucked shit up for her or something. And well, whatever you did, she has it out for you. Could be an Aries, too. Maybe she's an Aries. So, uh, what do we got in? Clarify this uh, Knight of Pentacles a little. Bit. What else can you tell us about this guy? That's Dr. Des Protégé, okay, so he might just be, uh, uh, he might not be great, being grateful for what he has, or that's what I get from that, the Four of Cups, he's, he's, he's not noticing all the blessings that are in front of him, or her, it could be a her too, right, sex is fluent and uh, terrible, so, it could just be a, a female and her masculine energy, um, uh, let's see here, um, uh, Bottom of the deck. Okay, so somebody's trying to steal a fortune off you. So I'm thinking this is a fortune because the bottom of this first deck we used here is uh, Seven of Pentacles, which is like a loss of a fortune. So maybe she's trying to lift your, your pentacles from you somehow. So yeah, I'm going to let this bitch in again, man. Your money. Because, yeah, it's a very evil person or reverse Queen of Wands. That's like an evil bitch type of person. Yeah, that likes, gets enjoyment out of deceiving people. Like, you know, the, the one for, that gives the poison apple to the, the black girl in that Disney movie. Like, in one of them, somebody like that. <laughs> and if you, if you somehow pissed her off with, an, with a, uh, something to do with an emperor, can we, what, what, what's with this emperor? What's with this emperor? Why is this queen of wands so... But a reverse queen of wands like that, like literally, like it doesn't matter. Anybody, people just learn to stay away from somebody like that because, like, anybody who gets in their path could be a potential victim, right? Okay, it's it led to whatever happened with this emperor led to sadness, crying over spilt milk, and loss. So, yeah, that's that's not good. That's I just stay away from her and don't let her anywhere near your money. Bottom of the deck is meditating, so maybe meditate and touch base with your ancestors there. That's about it, uh, Gemini. Have a good one.